Anheuser-Busch, the parent company of Bud Light, is facing backlash over a marketing campaign that's featuring Dylan Mulvaney. That's a transgender influencer, in case you didn't know. And I can't imagine any of you have been living under a rock. The campaign right now, well, it's been criticized for alienating the brand's most loyal customers. That's about 80% of them. And the sales of Bud Light have reportedly crashed, although the numbers aren't quite in yet, although we may have some later this weekend. And there will be some very clear indications if uh, they're in even deeper trouble than we know. The stock price, or at least the market value, has dropped dramatically, up to $6 billion at points, and it well could possibly drop much lower. But there's also somewhat of a statement that's come out of Anheuser-Busch after, well, hiding underneath a rock for, well, the better part of two weeks. So let's jump right into the story. Here we go. So Anheuser-Busch's marketing campaign featuring Dylan Mulvaney, as I said before, yeah, well, it's caused quite a bit of stir among both conservative and liberal groups. Now, some have applauded the move, as progressive step forward towards inclusivity, others have criticized it for being divisive and alienating to the customer's base, as I said before, which I would have to agree, the second part there is the most accurate. Now, according to a report from Red State, a publication that I subscribe to, and I think many others do, it's a wonderful publication, and it includes a writer that I know personally, Brandon Morse great articles. Anyway, the sales of Bud Light, according to Red State, have crashed since the campaign's launch, which is, well, <laughs> more than a little bit likely, prompting the suspension of all advertising for any of the beer brands until executives can evaluate what went wrong and how to move forward. Now, I can't confirm that it's all the beer brands. I can say that it's definitely Bud Light, and I can say that they haven't said anything on any social media for the better part of two weeks. Until now, and we'll get to that in a moment. Critics of this campaign have obviously accused Anheuser-Busch of trying to pander to the left while ignoring concerns of their customers. And ignoring their most loyal customers is the right way to put that for sure. The CEO of Anheuser-Busch, his name's Brendan Whitworth, who also happened to work for the CIA, by the way, has responded to the controversy with a statement that has left nobody satisfied. And that's almost a direct quote from the article from Red State. In fact, if you wanna hear the statement, I'll read it for you. I quote, here we go. As the CEO of a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, I am responsible for ensuring that every customer feels proud of the beer that we brew. Well, that's a good thing, right? And maybe we should have people that appreciate the beer they're drinking. But I don't know, uh, I don't know why that figures into this conversation, but I'll keep reading from the statement. We are honored to be part of the fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people, and our independent distributors employ an additional 47,000 valued colleagues. We have thousands of partners, we have uh, millions of fans, and proud history supporting communities, military, first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. Wow. That sounds just warm, right? What a warm, positive statement. We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over a beer. This is true. So maybe advertise your beer and not a lot of other nonsense. But again, I'm staying, let's get back to the statement. I'm gotta stop vamping. <clears throat> My time serving in this country taught me the importance of accountability and the values upon which America was founded. Freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. As CEO of Anheuser-Busch, I'm focused on building and protecting our remarkable history and heritage. Okay. Once again, this is, there's nothing to this. This is very empty. You hear an apology yet? No. No. But continue. I care deeply about this country, our brands, and our partners. I spend too much of my time traveling across America and learning from our customers, distributors, and others. I wonder who the others are. Strange way to put things. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly <clears throat> to bring great beers to our customers across our nation. 
That's it. That's the end of the statement. I wish there was more. I was ready to read more. I was waiting for the apology. Did you hear one? No. And in my estimation, this is an incredibly weak response to consumers. And it's been landing like a wet balloon. That wasn't quite right. A wet rag. A wet something. It's a, a wet anyway. <clears throat> in the same report from Red State, again, this is from one of their articles. You can check it out. Great article. And I'm just going to quote. Here we go. While Whitworth is admitting his company got involved in something that it never should have been involved in, he described it as divisive, by the way, that was in parentheses, the statement lacks any direct admission that the Mulvaney stunt alienated customers. Well, it did. Further, why has the executive at fault not been fired yet? She's cost the company millions of dollars at this point. Let's be a little bit more accurate. This is not in the article. It's cost the company billions of dollars. We don't even know could be tens of billions of dollars. And this is as of right now. There's much more that, well, could shake out from this. Clearly, this is not a statement of apology. It's just a sterilized recap of events with some buzzwords attempting to appeal to the Patriot in their customer base that they seem to clearly despise by, you no know, setting this lady loose with her campaigns and some of these influencers. And I am not buying reports from people in the know that says that the upper executives didn't even know that this was a thing. This is a lot of money to hand to somebody if you didn't know this was a thing. You had to write this guy a check. You had to write a check for this purpose, to put this person celebrating 365 days of girlhood on the front of a can. And of course, this controversy has sparked backlash from both conservative and liberal groups. The LGBT lobby is irritated and, and they've criticized Anheuser-Busch for not doing enough to support Mulvaney and for bowing down to pressure from conservative groups, which is hysterical on its face since the Bud brand sat paralyzed in fear of reacting to anything at all on any social media whatsoever. And of course, the conservatives have accused the company of being out of touch with its core customer base, which is entirely accurate. Um, I mean, who thinks it's a good idea to uh, alienate 80% of your customers to gain 1% of new ones? That makes no sense at all. It would be terrible, terrible business. If you examine this for market share, well, that's been erased over the last several days. You're looking at about $6 billion, as I mentioned before, and potentially much, much more. Once we get the sales figures, we'll know the real impact here and then watch the stock price. In Red State's opinion, this is an opinion part, Anheuser-Busch deserves the backlash it's receiving. These major corporations keep trying to pander to the left, which is true, often spitting in the face of their, well, their loyal customers in the process, also true. Why refuse to learn the lesson? Good question. Why let far left cultural insanity rule the day instead of good business sense? And I think you can apply that to a lot of major corporations nowadays. In fact, the majority or vast majority of the Fortune 500. Of course, we all know why, according to the opinion piece here, because these companies are scared to death of the backlash that they'll receive. I don't understand that. I get backlash every day. The controversy has raised questions about the role of corporate, well, any type of corporation, um, with any kind of activism, because in today's society, um, that seems to be a bad idea. You got some people arguing that companies have a responsibility to take a stand on social issues, which it almost never works out well, while others argue that they should stay out of politics altogether, which is would be in the best interest of any shareholders, which is what you're supposed to be doing business for in the first place, at least if you're a publicly traded company. As, of course, this debate and controversy is going to rage on, it's going to for some time, Anheuser-Busch is facing a difficult decision. Should they continue to stand by this divisive marketing campaign and risk alienating their customer base even further, which I would say is probably the least tenable option? Uh, or, of course, could they backtrack and risk angering the uh, liberal groups that they were trying to pander to in the first place? And they seem to be dreadfully afraid of, which, again, doesn't make a lot of sense. Get a lot more attention as a corporation if people are attacking you and doing bad things. Whatever they decide here, it's clear that from this particular controversy, well, as far as it's concerned, it's far, far from over, I guess. I, I wouldn't even imagine that this is going to be resolved quickly, especially since a lot of people are calling for the boycott to continue. 
what is grimly, starkly clear right now for Anheuser-Busch is that they're paying for a decision to embrace woke culture, which obviously colossally backfired. Uh, the company is facing both backlash from both sides of the political spectrum. And I mean, who would have imagined that? If you enjoyed this video or any of my commentary, feel free to put a thumbs up down below. And if you're not subscribed or if this is your first time here, please hit the button to subscribe. I would appreciate it. And to make sure that you don't miss a single video live stream or, well, short, or even a poll or whatever in my community tab, be sure to turn all notifications on. I'm on lots of platforms. You can find them all on the channel banner and feel free to follow me there. Be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. And until next time, bye. Today, be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.